So in this problem, we have a man on a scooter travels along a straight horizontal road. The total mass of the man and his scooter is 75 kilos, and the resistance to motion is a constant 58 newtons. Part A. The man and the scooter travels at a constant speed, working at a constant rate of 420 watts. Find the speed at which he travels. So let's just draw a little diagram to represent this. So, man and scooter, and we've got a mass of 75 kilo, so a weight of 75 g. Normal reaction force, we've got a driving force going towards the right, and a resistance force of 58 newtons. Okay, now it says here the man and the scooter travels at a constant speed, um, working at a constant rate of 420 watts. Now, because it's a constant speed, that means that the acceleration is zero. Now, because the acceleration is zero, you could work with SUVAT here. Okay, you could, um, uh, because we've got a constant acceleration. However, um, when we get to part B, you can't use SUVAT anymore. Okay, so just to be clear, so uh, for part A, you could use CVAP, but I'm not going to. Um, I think it would probably um, bring on bad habits here. So, what are we going to do? Well, we know that A is zero because of the constant speed. So that means that the driving force, take away 58, must be equal to the mass times the acceleration. So the driving force has to be 58 newtons, okay? Now, we have the formula for power, okay? So power is equal to the driving force times by the velocity. So the power here is 420 watts, and that's going to be equal to 58 times by the velocity that I want. So the velocity here is 420 divided by 58. So 210 over 29 meters per second, which is 7.24 meters per second to three sig fig. Okay, now part B. The man on the scooter now instantaneously increases his power to 550 watts. After travelling for 13 seconds, his speed reach, reached 8.9 metres per second. Uh, find the distance travelled at this power. So now the acceleration cannot be assumed to be constant. Okay, So you can't use SUVAT here. So instead we're going to use an energy method. Now the first thing is, um, we're going to need to work out the work done by the driving force. Now, the work done by the driving force, remember, power is equal to the work done divided by the time. So the work done by the driving force is going to be equal to power from the driving force, so the power of the scooter, times by the time, which is 13 seconds. So the work done that I want to calculate is 550 watts times by 13. So 550 times by 13 is 7,150. Okay. So, now we're going to use the work energy principle. So, uh, the initial kinetic energy plus the initial gravitational potential energy plus or minus the work done is going to be equal to the final kinetic energy plus the final gravitational potential energy. Now, we don't need to worry about the gravitational potential energy because it's just at one height all the way through. So, we don't need to worry about that. So the initial kinetic energy, uh, because the scooter instantaneously increases the power, starts with the velocity that we had previously. 
So that is 1 half times m, 75, times by v squared, so 210 over 29 squared. Then plus the work done by the driving force, 7,150. But then we've got the work done by the resistance force, the 58 newtons. Now that 58 newtons is working for um, a distance of x, okay? That's what we want to find. So let's call that distance x. So it's 58 times by x, the force times the distance. And that's going to be equal to the final kinetic energy. Now, uh, he reaches a speed of 8.9 metres per second. So that's one half times the mass, 75, times by 8.9 squared. So this is an equation now that I can use to work out x. So... Um, Let's work out each of these pieces. 0 0.5 times 75 times 210 over 29 squared. Okay, plus the 7,150. So we have 9,116.409037. Uh, take away 58x is equal to this. So 0 0.5 times 75 times 8.9 squared. Uh, which is 2,970.375. So 9,116.409037. Take away the 2,970.375 and then divide it by the 58 in rearranging we get 105.966, so 106 metres to three significant figures. And so that's the answer I was looking for.